this is the part four of correcting the lies so there's a video here on youtube and charlie i for the, for the past two to three weeks i've been thinking about it and it doesn't make sense anyway please subscribe to this youtube channel uh, so you can get more information now in this video the person who did that video he's i just realized a few days ago that he has subscribed to my channel so chief you are in nigeria i know you have watched my video or you like my video to the extent that you have subscribed but please um permit me to correct something you did wrong i know um some some of some of you or some of us are trying to make money off youtube but we have to be careful the information we put out the issue is that you know when you put out information on youtube a lot of people are consuming it and so if it is not really the truth what you are doing is that you are hurting people's investments and you're also destroying people's farms and it's a very sad thing so i think the name of of the hey if i do that too i'll be giving you free advertisements <laughs> anyways i'm not going to i'm not going to mention the name of the name of your um your youtube channel because i don't want people to truth them when misinform themselves but anyway, uh, I realized that there was some greenhouse farm. For me, I'm not even going to call that a greenhouse. And for people, a lot of people say that even the net ones that you see in Ghana is not really the, the standard greenhouse farm for snails. But he calls, this, he calls it a, a greenhouse farm. Um, and he's sort of a consultant. So he went to this people's place. And for me, that's not even a greenhouse farm because it's an uncompleted building. And then the top has been covered with the greenhouse nets and so i think that's why they're calling it the greenhouse and then they have planted um cocoa yam leaves and all sort of things that usually you find in the, the various greenhouse farms and uh he's i mean that particular farm they are facing challenges with ants ants and again there are different varieties of ants that i have heard people saying that uh, ants do not kill snakes please it's not it's a lie go and do your own research on 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 google you realize that there are so many different varieties of ants and so if you have a, a sugar ant around it's i mean it's not going to hurt you but there are other ants one that in ghana they even call chaff Taylor. that particular ant can kill a human being when a drunkard falls down that's that ant gets into the ears and nose it is done it is going to die so that's just by the way but in that video he's trying to solve an issue of ants in a greenhouse in that particular video, he mixes one, salt, iodated salt, two, um, kerosene or so. And then the third thing was sniper. It's a Nigerian poison meant for like rats and all of that. And can you imagine all these three things are poisonous to snails. Salt, when you sprinkle just a little on snails, it dehydrates them and kills them. And he mixes this and then in a knapsack, and then he sprays it in the greenhouse and of course the ants are dying and he has a lady saying wow wow the ants are dying oh yeah and he he's he sprays it in the greenhouse i think they first took out the snails but you see the residue of the crazy the salt and then the sniper will stay in the soil and even the vegetation on the on on the farm or the greenhouse or whatever they want to call it and so when the snails are reintroduced they will die in fact, that is even worse. It's even worse than the ants. And I go to the comment section. I see a lot of people saying, "Yes, sir. Oh, oh, you are doing a good job. You are training us. You are telling us the truth." Please let us be careful of the things we consume. Let us be careful. So, my brother, these are things that um, are killing snails. The misinformation that goes on. I think that we should be careful. I believe that today I have corrected another lie that you can stay away from. Hopefully, in the next or subsequent videos that you watch, you will do your own investigation and research to know that not all uh, glitters uh, is, is, is gold, so that you know how to sieve out your information. Anyway, again, I'm Katie Samuel. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Call me, reach out to me for conversation and discussions um, so that we can have a healthy snail farm and produce healthy quality snail meat. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.